Welcome back guys, I'm Skystorm and this is Foundation. The second content update has gone live. I thought it was going to take two weeks. No, it's live today. So I jumped in to, um, to, to reload my game and the safe cove is incompatible with this version. Second time today. First time dropping out now this. But don't worry because, yes, I've redone it all. Oh, yes. Did you, re like, did you really think that I wouldn't? Come on. Here we go. So I've rebuilt it all, but it's um, a couple of differences. And it did, I've got to the point just before I'm going to build the um, the wheat farms, which is where we ended the last episode. But a couple of differences. Um, the first thing is that everybody's employed, which is kind of a big difference. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, look, everybody's employed. Hooray! Let's, uh, let's sort them by job so you can actually see what's going on. So we've got a couple of builders. We've got two carpenters, not just one carpenter. This time, two carpenters. We've got six foragers, and all the foragers are living in these three houses. Everybody is living, like, right next to their job. We've got two sheep farms rather than one uh, because we've got two weavers rather than one, and they're churning out loads of cloth. So I think we actually need another tailor, although this tailor's churning out a fair amount of clothes. Which is pretty, pretty impressive. We um we do have two market tenders. We have got we have got berries. We have got clothes. We just need that market tender to walk his lazy ass over here and pick some of these clothes up. Look, we've got fifty three clothes to be shipped out. Um, say, do some work, damn it. Um, yeah, and I've got the um, I've got the second camp lumber camp up and working. This time has got an extraction zone and I'm just waiting for them to to get these trees out before I lay out the farms I thought that was kind of a good idea so that's where we're up to and we just got two more people joining oh they've joined so um yeah they're going to form the um, the farm labor force that we'll have over there the uh, the, the cash is coming in kind of nicely let's have a look at that let's have a look at our budget so let's see last well last week I think this is a week I'm not 100%. I think this is a week. So last week, I'm going to call it a week. Like whether it is, I'm going to call it a week. So last week, we um, we we consumed 450 goods in, in total, uh, or 450 golds worth of goods. So we we made a profit of 18 gold, but I spent um, I spent 200 on trade, which I'm guessing was tools. I would think. Uh, we spent another 70 now. I've set this to be um, to keep 20 tools in stock. You want to see the trade setup? Let me show you the trade setup. So, the tra actually, this is a good point because I, I want to actually set up some to sell some stuff because um, I think we're actually producing a fair amount of certain goods that we can start selling. So, because I've actually got five people in the in the stonecutters camp, so I think let's see what uh, what, what can we we can sell we can sell berries. Berries is coming up. Um, we were down to, we were running out of berries, which is why I put in a, a second gathering hut. So we, we've now got actually got a bit of an excess of berries. So we could, we could think about selling some berries. So is it berries, polished stone, and planks? Although we've just used up all of our planks. I don't know what the hell we're doing with our, with our planks. I think we're upgrading houses. A village is leaving due to unhappiness. Oh, okay. Um, there's, there, <laughs> I brought you in at this point because I wanted to show you a couple of things that I need to do and I got distracted. So there's a couple of things we need to do. Look, global happiness, it, it actually shows you what's missing now. So nine villagers are lacking food. Well, hopefully that problem will be solved now because we've, we've got the berries. Uh, four villagers are lacking either uh, a house or something to drink. Ten villagers are lacking religion. So... We go over to the church. The church, we've got 18 of 20. We need to expand the capacity of the church. So, should we do that? I think we should. To edit the church. How can we extend it? Well, how about an extension? <laughs> sounds, sounds like a reasonable plan. So, how do, how do we want to extend this? Oh, that's kind of that's kind of cool. Kind of like that. Oh, where? What? Come on, go where? Go where you were before. No, it won't. Okay, fine. Um, how the hell do we... Maybe, you know what, maybe like put an extension on each side. Although this house is like really close to this. 
So maybe we maybe we extend it on this side. Um, I don't know. Like, how much does this add to it? So it doesn't. It doesn't actually tell me how much that would add to it. Okay. You know what? How much does um? Because I, I used a core B. I thought I thought we'll have a smaller church. I used a core B. Um, I'm thinking maybe we just stick a maybe stick a full full on core on the side. Make the thing a bit bigger. What do you think? Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. So let's have. Uh, I'm going to use another door B. Let's use another door B. There we go. Do we want another tower? I've got to say, I'm kind of tempted. Yeah, go on. Let's do it. Let's have a tower. So a small tower. Boom and. We're not the same height, don't we? Near enough. Right, that'll do. So, um, start construction. And we'll see how many people that'll take. Go. Go. Build that quick before everybody leaves the blooming village. People are not happy. We've got the... Um, I've put the bakery in, ready. There's nobody working there yet. But, but we're ready to take people into the bakery. Uh, we need to add the next bit of the market. Shall I do that? Let's do that. So what do we want? We want to edit this. We want, I guess this is the, I, well, I don't know. What, like, what can you sell in the goods? I'm assuming this is the luxury market. But I don't, you know what? Let's just, before I mess around with this. Um, so no, get out of that. Cancel. Let's just check this. So, no, it must be the luxuries. It, I, well, unless it, oh no, 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 it's food. Aha, uh -huh, so yes. So actually what we need is another um, another food market, I guess. It's all changed. And, uh, and uh, up to where we were, that's as much as I'd played before. So this is all kind of new. And I love sharing like the new experience with you guys. So I can ooh and ah over it. So all right, let's, um, let's put in an extra one. So what do I, what, what do I want? Edit. And I want uh, I want a food market, and I think we'll put this one. Let's put this one over this side, in front of the in front of the church, like that. Right, build that for me, please. Thank you very much. Cool. All right. So, how are you getting on with these trees, boys? Come on, get these trees chopped down, damn it. So. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna thin back this so that they focus on this end. I want these removed. Okay, uh, I mean, I could put another woodcutter's camp in, I suppose. How many people have I got? I've got four people. But I want them to be like the farmers and millers and all that kind of stuff. I do need to figure out, I need to get another house in here. I've got Yolanda and Robin in this one. And they are, we've got a transporter and a carpenter. I think I'm going to have to put in a house, maybe like here, and put them into there. And I think that's going to have to be the house for the bakers. Yeah, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it. So let's get another house put in. Let's see, I want it about that big. We just want a house. Actually, let's make it a fraction smaller. Let's have a house there. That'll do. Sweet. So where's the reforestation zone? Because we can, we can run that back a little bit. So let's let's run it back to there kind of thing. Sweet. Alrighty. Oh ho, oh. my lord! We need to choose who we want to help. See all of these things? They finished them now. We need to choose who we want to help. I help the king deliver thirty berries in sixty days. Well, we can definitely do that. Uh, who are we going to help? Now, I haven't, I haven't done any of these quests up until now, so the, the only the only stuff that we've got um, is we got plus 10 for building the church. Plus 10 with the church. We've got plus 4 for just... Um, what did we get plus 4 with the with the crown for? I can't... Oh, just for starting the village, I think. I think that's all it was. Um, but you'll notice that the splendour, that they've increased the amount of splendour that you get from, like, building the market and stuff. So we're up to uh, we're up to six splendor. Oh, a splendid village indeed. Who are we going to help? I think 
Let's, um, since we've got plus 10 with the clergy anyway, let's, uh, let's help the king. There we go. So if I'm going to help the king, then I need to get some berries in here. Now I am, I've got this set up to bring flour up here, but I'm going to change that to berries. Oh no, uh, no, I haven't got the option to deliver it yet. So hopefully they'll bring some berries up. Yes, we've got it. Well, we've got the 30 berries, so we should be able to ship it out. Give me the option to ship it out. It will eventually. It'll figure it out eventually and then give me an option to actually deliver it. Oh, no, there it is. No, it's already there. Click to deliver. Can't see for looking. So, we're delivering those. I think. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Delayed reaction. Uh, quest completed. Blah, blah, blah. And we get plus 10 with the crown. Hooray. Good news. How are we doing with these trays? We're getting there. We're getting there. It's taking a little bit of time, but, but, but they are getting there. Slowly but surely. How many people we've got? Six. Which is pretty good. You know what? I might just I might just put these blooming... I'm going to put these farmhouses in because I just can't wait any longer. So I think... We want these farms. I think... Something like... Like there and there that kind of sort of thing so that's where i'm going to put them i'm going to put one there and i'm going to put one there and that's all there is to it okay good oh i don't think i put the second one in because i can't afford to a villager is leaving due to unhappiness no don't leave what are they unhappy about now some some look what are you unhappy about now uh seven are lacking food four are lacking housing well that's fine 15 are lacking religion. Uh, well, let's see, we're up to... Hang on, it's still 20 of 20? After I've built... All... Oh, they haven't finished building it, that's why. Come on, get this blooming thing built. Get this bell tower built. We need, uh, we need 50 planks. Well, it's like as soon as we get in them, they're, they're disappearing. I'm guessing it's going to upgrade houses. That would be my guess. We'll get to it eventually, I suppose. Um, I should prioritise this, shouldn't I? Yeah, prioritise it. There we go. You should get first dibs on the planks now with a bit of luck. And suddenly some planks start arriving. Hooray! All right. So we've got, we've got one farmhouse going in. Awesome. Um, now I've got... I've got two houses here filled with uh, with woodcutters who are working here. So I'm just kind of wondering, do I use those houses or do, do I put some houses closer to, to these guys? Actually, I'm going to want, for, for two full farms, I'm going to need uh, three houses, aren't I? Yeah. And then I'm going to have at least one mill and there's a good chance I'm going to end up having two mills. So that would be those two houses. All right, so yeah, let's do let's do some housing, shall we? Let's do some housing. So we would want one. Probably need to make that a touch bigger. Oh, come on, there we go. One and two and, come on, give me a third. Has, it, has the third one gone in? Yeah, uh, no, no. Come on, give me a third one. Unless there aren't enough people here, but... Well, th there should be enough room to get a third one in there. So, we'll, we'll let them get on with that. All right, cool. Uh, have I got enough cash? All my yes, I've got enough cash. Pause, while I've still got the cash. Let's get the second farmhouse put in. What do we want? We want a uh, wheat farm. So, that's going to go... Let's angle it around a bit so it's not quite the same. Uh, you're going to go there. Hooray. And go. Sweet. Right, they've almost finished this off. Last couple of trees to go. And then I'll, I'll, I'll extend this. Well, or, well I, I'll get rid of this and, and set a new zone to get rid of this. All of this over here. Oh, awesome source. So we'd actually need a couple more people over here. Now, we've had two people leave the village because they're unhappy. So the thing is, like, what jobs were they doing? And this is the only thing, and I wish it would kind of tell you. Well... Wow. 
it does now because there's a new screen. Where is it? The workplace list, which shows you who's working in what buildings. Isn't that good? So I can immediately tell that one of my warehouse workers left and one of my stone cutters left. So now my stone cutters should be in these houses. So let's have a look. Oh, if I turn that off, I'll have a better chance. Uh, so we've got Laurel and Baptiste. Uh, you're a woodcutter. You're a woodcutter. Oh, no, they should be in the, uh, this one. So, yeah, see, somebody's left that house and nobody new has moved in. Hmm. Yeah, which kind of sucks. So I don't know what the, I don't know what the deal with, with that is. I guess, I guess we're, I mean, this is an old, like, essentially this is an old bug. Because when people move out, they fixed it so that people can move back in again, but apparently they're not. Well, that messes things up a little bit. What I'm going to have to do is put in a new house over here, I suppose. If I can get one in. Can I get a house in there? Oh, come on, that's got to be big enough, hasn't it? Get a house in. Okay, well, it might not be because... Yeah, because of that path there, it might not be big enough to get a house in. I don't know. Let's let's play around with it a touch more. Because sometimes it can just be a little fraction. Giving it just a little bit room. No. No, it doesn't want to put one in. Mind you, there's got it. Well, no, there's that path there, isn't there? Man, stupid path. Hmm. How annoying is that? <laughs> like, answer? Actually, quite. All right, well, I, I guess I'll have to put it there then. You gonna go in there? No, so how have we got like houses for all of our, maybe we've got houses for all of our people. Oh, I think we have, haven't we? Okay, I'll leave it like that and see if a, see if a house builds there. So we've got, we've got one, two, three houses. Where's the third house going in? No, not yet. Maybe we need a couple more people to turn up. Although, no, we should. We should have room. We should have people. So why aren't we building houses, damn it? I don't know. I don't know. But we're getting this built. That's the main thing. Come on, guys. Build, build, build. Um, the church. Now, the, the church has finished. It's still 20. The hell? How can that still be 20? When I've just added loads onto it. Huh. Okay, well, in that case, I suppose we have to build, like, a separate church. So is it like churches can only hold 20 now, or is that is that a bug? I don't know. It's like, seriously, I have no, absolutely no idea. I think we'll put a church in over here. Like, what the hell? Uh, yeah, my wind, my, where am I going to put my windmills? Where do I put the extra church? Yeah, I think the extra church should go over here somewhere. I'm going to put it here. Uh, I'm going to put it here and that's all there is to it. So, rustic church. We want a new rustic church, please. Um, what do I want? I want... I'm just, I'm just going to put in a small church then, so... Actually, I, you know what? I'm going, to put in, I'm going to put it in with a core and see if that's any different. I don't think it is. I think it's exactly the same. I think, it'll, I think it'll house 20 people. So let's throw that in. We'll have a door B, because that's my favorite door. Boom, and we'll put in a small tower, because, because that's how I like to do it. Come here, thank you. Get up there. All right, and start construction. And this is, I gotta say, this is a little bit of an issue, because if you can only have 20, a max 20 in a church, you're gonna need loads of churches. Now, this is the small rustic church. There is a completely new monument, the monastery. Another villager leaving due to unhappiness because they can't get their freaking religion on. One new building unlocked. What have we unlocked? What have we unlocked? Uh, oh. I think it's, is it that? I think it's that. It's not completely unlocked yet. 
decoration. Oh, we've got decorative trees and stuff. Now, um, we might be able to make people a little bit happier if we actually decorate the place a little bit. So, maybe, maybe we do, maybe we do a little bit of decoration. Because these houses aren't actually all that very, all that nice over here. So, let's pop some, pop some flowers in around the place and hopefully that will cheer people up a little bit. Let's give you a bit of flowers and, oh see houses are upgrading now. Because they're, because they're nicer. Yeah, let's make them different, so put some flowers underneath your window. You can have, maybe you can have some flowers like round the corner, like that. And you can have a little garden on the back. There we go. Uh, what else? These are gonna need some flowers down here for sure. Oh, my Lord, we need to choose who we want to help. Uh, deliver berries. Okay, well we did the king last time. Let's do the clergy. All right. So we'll have some flowers there. You can have some flowers around the corner. The sheep are gonna eat those. You just know they are. Little thieving sheep. Uh, you can have some flowers. You can have some as well. Boom, boom. And they're building that house. And they're still refusing to build a house there. <laughs> Man. All right, here's what it is. Uh, I can put some decorative trees in as well if I wanted to, which, which I'm thinking might be a nice idea. So a few trees around the village. It does make it look, it does make it look nicer. I mean, there's no getting away from it. Um, let's have maybe a couple around the back up here. And a couple over there. And maybe one, one down here by the sheep. Oh, it's starting to look quite nice. All right, so how are we doing in terms of happiness now? We've, um, we've still got 16 villagers who are lacking religion. We've got 10 villages who are lacking houses, which is fair enough, because I just need to build some more houses, but it's what it is. Well, um, you're right, you two in there, you can be farmers. So let's get your farming. Let's have, where's the, where's the farmer? Oh, there it is. You're gonna be a farmer. And Winona, <laughs> yeah. Um, you're gonna be a farmer as well. And one of you, guys in here can be a farmer as well. Lillian, you can be a farmer. There you go. All right, go. As soon as this gets finished, we can get the three of those in there, which would be good. Uh, oh my, oh, they've built this house. Hooray. There's no farm field, yeah. Let's get that put in. So we want a nice big farm field, which is gonna extend from here all the way down into this area like that all right sweet that should be big enough i would think but i'll take it a bit further i suppose let's take it up to the edge right we'll see we'll see how they do with that go um so now they can get the week going hooray what we need next is some millers so we lost one from our gathering we've got oh we've lost one or we need an extra one in the food market. Uh, we don't actually need them, like, just yet. But I think it's probably worth getting it set up. So let's have a house. I think we'll put in a house there. Yeah, is that big enough? Do you want it a bit bigger? Oh, come on, put the blooming house in, will you? I seriously, I don't know what the delay is sometimes. I know some of you say, oh, there's no people who need a house or whatever, but pretty sure, yeah, look, villager leaving due to unhappiness. We have got people who need houses, and yet, like, that should be big enough to put a blooming house in. Let's try making it a bit bigger. Okay, a bit bigger. Build a blooming, you can build a mansion in there. No, nope, they just don't want to do it. What about if I make it ridiculously big? No, they still won't build a blooming house there. And I think it's because we need some more builders. Let's set a couple of builders. Do they build a house now? No. Let's 
try again. I'm just going to put it in the size that I think it should be. Yeah. So, build me a house there. That's big enough for a house. We'll see. We'll see if they do. I've got a sneaky suspicion they won't, but... I'm going to put in another house over here. Or try to. But again, they just don't want to... They just don't want to build houses. What, like... Let's try another couple of builders or something. Let's have another couple of guys set up as builders. Helene Builder. Still no sign of it going in there. Still no sign of it going in there. I don't don't ask me why. Don't ask me why they won't build this stuff now. Church is going up. We've got the tools. We need 90 planks. And of course, they're nicking all the planks. Another villager's leaving due to unhappiness. I really need to get this extra church built. It's um, it's a priority. Okay, well let's set the priority. There you go. That'll solve the problem. Set the priority. Build that damn church. Because we've got loads of people. We've got 16 villagers who need religion. So if you look, we've got eight villagers who are lacking a house. But they won't build houses. Why won't you build houses for me? They won't build one there, won't build one there. Now if you're saying it needs to be bigger, well, like, it doesn't. Like, you see how big that is? This is bigger than that. Um, I tell you what, I'll put in put in a big area so that they can build two. They still won't build one. Why? No idea. And look, these guys are standing around. I think, maybe, like, is it is it plank shortage? I don't know. Oh, hang on a second. Have we lost both of our... No, no. So I need, I need somebody else to work there. Now, it's kind of annoying that people are leaving because I got this set up pretty beautifully. Let's say we've got, you're a builder, not anymore. Now you're gonna be a carpenter. Go be a carpenter. So that's William the carpenter and Pierre's a builder. Okay. Any sign of, no, house, no, no. Oh, look at that. Nice. But we need planks. We desperately need planks. Let's see, if we can get this church built, that'll make people happy. And then people should stop leaving, which would be a really, really good thing. So, come on, boys. We've got loads of logs. Just churn out the planks. Normally, I've got millions of planks. Two new villagers are joining your village. What are we up to? 38. 28 serfs, 10 commoners we've got now. Woohoohoohoo! Look at us. Um, let's bring up these lists because I, I don't know why I keep closing them. It's because I'm an idiot, I think. Uh, let's have the workplace list. So what are we missing? Um, so we're missing one of our sheep farmers, one of our stone cutters. So let's have a look in here. So we've got Virginia. You're a shepherd. Erin is a builder. Well, you could be a shepherd then. There you go. How many builders have we got? So we'll look, sort this by job. So we've got, we've got four builders, we've got two carpenters, we've got three farmers. We've still got, uh, I think we lost one of our foragers. Where's gathering huts? Yeah, and we've just lost another one. Please, please build this church. Games, i got to say, the game is more difficult. Oh, finally, they're building that blooming house. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to wait for, well, actually, no, because I've got two people in there. So, Barbara and Walter. Barbara, you're going to be a forager. Actually, do I, uh, do I want them in there? I've got Julian Philippe. See, nobody's living there now. Yeah, they've they've managed to reintroduce that bug. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's, um, let's bulldoze that. And then the problem is going to be trying to get them to build the house in the same place because it puts a path in. So we might have to wait for that to fade. Oh man, how did they? How did they not see this? This what, the thing is. It what I don't. Well, I was going to say it wasn't doing this in the in the in the last version, but I never had anybody unhappy, so so nobody ever left, so I never saw this problem. 
All right, let's make. Um, so, Walter, you're going to be a forager. So we've got we've got you two as foragers. So we've now got our foragers filled up. We still need an extra person in the food market, but not until we're actually producing food. We're producing um, we're producing wheat. We need we need the other three farmers in here, don't we? Yeah. So we've got Lillian. Yeah. So we want the Audric, and we want Jean or Jean, whichever, and we want Harry. Okay, so we've now got them set up. Now I'm guessing they're gonna they're gonna use up the whole of this area by the look of it. I'm happy about that. I like the farms being big. All right, so now we need a couple of windmills. Let's get a couple of windmills put in. Uh, what do we want? Windmills. So I'm thinking, where are we going? Where are we going to have the windmills? I am kind of thinking that we have the windmills like here and then maybe I just push this zone out a bit I think I think that's what we're gonna have to do you know yeah um, unless I could buy this and have the windmills a bit further down here I we could do that we could do that pause let's buy this area Cha ching hooray okay solve that problem keep going because uh, now you've got to get me some cash so that I can actually <laughs> I can actually afford to put the windmills in because they're like 200 each. Man. Go, go, build. Do stuff. Make things. How many homeless people? We've got six people lacking homes. Um, oh, I need to deliver those. All right. And deliver those. All right, right. So who we're going to help now? So we've got we've got twenty with the clergy. We've got fourteen with the king. Let's uh, let's help the king. Oh no, he wants fish. We we can't deliver fish, so I'll have to say no. Sorry, no fish yet. Can't wait to do the fishermen. Fishermen are going to be awesome. I can't wait. There's a new monument, the keep. There's the monastery. There's all kinds of new stuff. But I'm kind of getting hung up at the moment with this. Like seriously, unhappiness is such a big problem. If you, if you don't stay on top of it, it just kind of wrecks everything. So, come on, get this built. More planks, boys, more planks. We've got loads of logs. I, I mean, I could set up another sawmill, but I kind of don't really want to do that if I don't have to. And this was only meant to be kind of a temporary thing. I never extended the extraction zone over here, did I? No, I didn't. Let's get that done. So, yeah, we can leave it running. Let's change that and set it up. Just clear this area. There you go, boys. Get to work. I'll bring, bring in a bunch of logs. Right, let's get um, windmills. Let's get the windmills going. What do I want? Windmill. So I think a couple of windmills down, down close to the river. I think that would be quite nice. One there. And one there when I can afford it, which shouldn't take too long. We've got 155 gold in the treasury. <laughs> Don't go down, treasury, go up. 137. Come on, people, buy some berries. There's loads of berries in the market. 177. Come on, 197. Yes, hooray, it's in. So now we can get a couple of houses down here for these people. So we want, mind you, I've already got a, an area there for them to build some houses and they just won't, they just won't. Uh, let's have, well, I'll put an area in here. Like, I want a couple of houses in there, please. But what's the, like, what is stopping them from building the damn houses? I don't know. We've got, oh, there's only two villagers who are lacking a house at the moment. Okay, so that's the reason, I guess. Are we are we building a house somewhere for those already? I don't know, I don't know. This is, this is the problem when you start like putting in zones. Um, let's, you know what, let's take, let's take this zone out. Because if they build, if they start building a couple of houses, I want them built down here. I want them here for these, I want for the millers. We've got these three houses built, that's fine. We've now got the church. 
this is this church, isn't it? Yes. So we've got we've got room for another 20. Now, uh, in case you're saying, oh, you haven't got a priest, you haven't got a priest. Yeah, it's this here. You can't actually assign a priest to it, right? If you think it's clicking. Well, no, apparently you can. I clicked on that earlier and nothing happened. But the thing is, you've got people like we didn't have a priest in here and people were going to that church anyway. Oh, now we've got a now we've got a priest, Edward the priest. Okay, we'll throw another priest in here then. See if that makes any difference. It's st now that's still saying none. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Oh, now we've got Emma, Emma the priest. Edward and Emma the priests. We've got a priest and we've got a priestess. Apparently, nice to see women being included in the priesthood be even nicer if they built me some blooming houses and mind you we've got a path there which is kind of annoying yeah that's not going to work so I need to trim that off there and extend it out here like this please build me a couple of houses there we'll see we'll see if they do uh, so I don't want to assign the millers until we get the houses for them but According to this, only two villagers don't have a house. But they won't build another house. Why won't you build another house, damn it? Now, I tell you what, that's really annoying. Because I was clicking that earlier. It didn't put a priest in. Didn't make any difference whatsoever. And now it does. I, I think we can trim this, this back a little bit here. So if we trim that back... Like that kind of thing. There we go. Cool. Um, so what the hell else can we do? I do need an extra person working in the market. The, the problem now is I've lost track of where people are. And it won't put houses where I want it to put houses. So I'm a bit screwed. So I, I, I need a house here for, for somebody to work in the market. but it won't do it. So, I don't know, like, I'm just gonna assign some people then, and it is what it is. So, just assign me a villager. A villager is leaving due to unhappiness. Now, why is that? 17 villagers are lacking food. I, I wonder if that's because they want bread. I don't know. Let's get some millers going. Boom, 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 boom. So we've got millers. Now, the transporters up here We've got tools, we've got planks, we've got berries in there. I'm going to change that now to, not bread, flour. There we go. And we need to get a couple of bakers going. Boom, boom. All right, so what else don't we have? We've got, okay, everybody is in, employed now. We've got three builders, but we've got nobody unemployed. Uh, I can live without a stone. Okay, you know what? We need a stonemason. And we need a tailor. So let's take out a couple of... Oh, come on. Stop leaving, damn it. Oh, we got... Hang on. Now we've got a couple of unemployed people. All right, cool. In that case, let's get somebody working in the stonemason hut and somebody working in the tailors. We've got one working in the warehouse. That's fine. Oh, we've lost both of our weavers. <laughs> really? Um... Let's change you to be a weaver then. Where's the weavers? Seriously, it's as soon as you start getting people leaving due to unhappiness, it's just a disaster. Um, I'm gonna pause the game and I'm gonna buy this territory over here. We'll start expanding. Now, I wonder what, I think, wonder what we need to unlock. Oh, we need 20 commoners to unlock this. Okay. Well, we've, we seem to have removed religious unhappiness. We've still got two villagers lacking a house, but they won't build me a house. So I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. They literally refuse to build a house down here. <laughs> Why won't you build a house? I don't know. But they won't. I can, you know what? I'll, I'll put in a slot here. Build a house there. Nope, they won't. I won't build a house. And I don't know why. 
weird. And I wonder if that's two villagers that won't move into houses that have got like a slot open. Um, but that means me going around like every freaking house. Checking if I've got two people living there. Which is a bit of a nightmare. Especially when you, when you can't close them down. Oh, hang on a second. What's this? Oh, what? Okay. This, apparently, is still being built. We are lacking one tool and one... Okay, I think that's our problem, guys. So I tell you what, demolish that. And let's see if they'll rebuild. Uh, should I take out those flowers? I should take out the flowers, shouldn't I? Yeah. Get rid of that and get rid of that. Now, I wonder if they'll build a house somewhere. Now that we've removed that. Still got another villager leaving. Come on, stop it. Oh, and it's somebody who works at the goods market. See, this is the problem. But like before, if this happened, you couldn't even figure out. You had to literally go around every person figuring it, like in every building, trying to figure out where people were, were leaving from. Uh, let's see. I have got no free people at all. Who do I want to help? I'll help. Um, who are we helping this time? Um, I will help the king. Yeah, the 30 berries. But to do that, I'm going to have to ditch something. Um, but you know what? I was going to say we've, we've got no planks, but we have. We've got like 140. Um, you know, we've got, we've got tools for the moment. Man, this... I'm, I'm going to swap it out with the flower then, so... Get me some berries in, so just so that I can trade this. Oh man, this the, the house situation is killing me because seventeen villagers are lacking food. Oh, oh because I haven't got anybody selling food. That's why. <laughs> you know, this game, uh, it, like if it's going smoothly, it's just smooth and easy and no problem. As soon as you get into this, it's like a death spiral in Banished. Because people start disappearing and then it all gets out of hand. What do we want? We want you to be a market tender. And I need another one, don't I? So, Helen, go and be a market tender. Boom. All right, cool. Now, I need to set up the other slot, don't I? Yeah. So, sell bread. Okay. So, now, hopefully... Are our, are our bakers producing bread? Yes, we've got bread. Hooray. Our house is upgrading. Awesome news. Oh. We've got a house going in. Hooray. Houses are upgrading. I thought there was a new house going, going in, but it's not. They're upgrades. But I suppose that's a positive sign. Ish. We'll see. We'll see if it is in the long term. I suppose I could get rid of these guys if I really wanted. Mind you, I've only got one guy in there. <laughs> Crazy. You know what? Let's get let's get rid of that. Quest completed. Reach a profit of five hundred a week. Woohoo! Okay. Well, at least I did that. Um, we've got those. We can deliver that. So we've done that quest. Well, we're becoming quite popular with the crown. We're up to twenty-four and twenty with the clergy. So I suppose that's good. There is no farm field zone for farmer. Yes, there is. Go away. Have a look. Yes, there is. This great big one right there. Right, you're working. Good. You're working ish. Um, what I need to do is put in a warehouse here to bring the uh, the wheat over here, and I could probably use that to collect the berries as well. So I think I think that's what we want. Let's put it, let's put in a warehouse over here. I think it kind of makes sense. So let's have you there. Cool. Now these don't use water, do they? No, they don't. Didn't think they did. Cool. Okay. How's things now? Are things getting better? Okay, things are getting better. But we've got ten villagers are lacking either. Either housing or water. 
So I tell you what, I'm going to put in a couple of extra wells, like just in case it's water. I don't see how it is because the well, one well will feed will feed everybody. Yeah, I mean, it just does. So I'm, I'm assuming that we've actually got eleven villages without houses. But if that's the case, why won't the game? But oh, hang on, now it's building a house there. <laughs> You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're going to try and build a house there. See, so why wouldn't you build it before? I don't know. There's some weird things going on. Seriously. Oh, you're building a house there. Now it's suddenly started building houses. All right. You know what? If you're going to build a house there... No, you're not, first of all. So... Oh, God. If I, get rid of that. This house. No. Demolish that. Um... Do I want that there? Yes, I do, is the answer. So we're going to change this zone. Oh, give me the damn... Give me the... Oh, it's... it's a, what the hell? How did that get over there? <laughs> okay, yeah, some weird things going on. Can I move this? No, I can't move it. Okay. So I'm, that, now, don't tell me that's me. That's always been over this side, and now it's suddenly moved over there. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Because, you know, we want we want a little bit of space around that. So we can have a house going in there. Don't mind a house there. Let's trim that bit. And we can have a house there. Don't mind having a house there. And I wouldn't mind having a house over here. So let's get that done. Go. Let's see if you'll build any of those. Well, they're certainly not in any hurry to do it. <laughs> so they're building a house up there. Okay. Oh, mind you. You know what? I don't think we've got any builders now. Pretty sure we haven't got any builders now. Well, that's still coming up over there. Weird. Weird things are happening. I'm getting freaked out. What am I trying to do? I have no idea. I've completely lost track now. Oh, yeah. Builders. So, uh, we want this sorted by job. Yeah, I've got no builders. So, Herman and Carl, you're going to be builders. Go build lots and lots of things. Well, they've got lots to do because they've got houses to upgrade. We've got two more people joining the village. They're going to be builders as well. How are we doing in the market? We have got clothes, we have got berries, we have got bread. Okay, so now nobody should be complaining that, that they're hungry and they're not. We've got one villager complaining that he hasn't got um, religion. Let's see, we've got 20 of 20 in there. We've got 15 of 20 in there. So we've still got a bit of room, kind of, sort of, ish. But the thing is, we like with 43 people, um, we actually need another church, but the fact that I can't extend these is like... A, now, hang on, that's got a villager capacity of 40 now. That says villager capacity 40, so why is it 20? Oh, is it like 20 at one time? What, like, that doesn't make any sense. That's got a village capacity of 40, but it's saying 20 of 20. Oh, okay, the, the, the uh, yeah. Okay, this version has one or two issues. I still love the game. Please don't write saying, why are you bashing the game? I'm not bashing the game. I'm just pointing out that there are a few issues. And it's kind of, it is spoiling my enjoyment because I, I love playing this game. And I want to get on to all the new stuff. And I can't because of all of this nonsense that's going on. We've got houses upgrading. Have we got two more guys I can set to builders? Yes, we have. Sophie, be a builder. And Victoria, be a builder. See, wouldn't it be nice if when they arrived, they just defaulted to being builders? And they go off and just do this stuff so that you didn't have to micromanage that. And then when you want to put people to other jobs, you can just select a couple of them. It would just make life so, many easy, so, so much easier. I don't mind micromanaging things that need to be micromanaged, but I don't like micromanaging things like for the sake of it. You know what I mean? 
All right, so we, I think we're back on top of things now. How are we doing? We need how many houses? We've got nine villages lacking a house. We've got three villages lacking religion. I am seriously thinking of building another church because with 45 people in the village, if these things are only taking 20, see that's saying seven of 20 now. I don't know. Do, should I build another church? I, <laughs> I don't know. You tell me, leave me a comment. Tell me what the hell should I be doing? We're putting this in, that's great. Um, we've built, we haven't built any of these houses. We've built this house here, we've built this house here. So we're still saying, we're still saying we're lacking three houses, but we're still refusing to build houses here, here, or here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'll get to it eventually, or I don't know. Maybe they're on strike, or I'll make that a little bit bigger. I mean, that's already big enough for our house, for heaven's sake. Um, that that might be a squeeze. Let's let's make that as big as we can make it. See. Okay, like, what's going on there? <laughs> yeah, I think we've got a slight issue with that. I've never seen that before. Uh, so let's extend that. So that should be there, shouldn't it? And then that shouldn't be there at all. Oh, oh my God, look. Yeah, yeah, we've got a few issues with this build. I've never had this many problems before. Like, seriously, what the hell is going on? Hmm. I, I tell you now, guys, I, I will carry on playing this, but if if this is what's going to happen, right, then I may hang back a bit because it's it's it is spoiling the fun and i've been so looking forward to this i wanted to dive into this and really get into it and it's kind of just it's becoming a chore i just want it i want to get to the new stuff i want to build cool things i don't want to faff around dealing with with bugs i mean i extended the freaking church and then that screwed up i've got village capacity 40 but apparently you can only get 20 in so what, what the hell's that about they won't build houses where I tell them to, even though people need houses. Now we've got three people lacking a house, but they haven't built any of these houses. So, so where have they built, so where have those people moved to? <laughs> I don't know, what are you asking me for? Um, yeah, deliver to, who are we gonna do? Oh, we'll just do the clergy, so yeah, deliver to the clergy. Okay, deliver to the clergy, and we'll assign a villager to that, and we'll put berries in there. And we want to put wheat in here, don't we? Yep. Uh, we want wheat brought into here, please. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah. Has it, I, has it calmed down? I think it's calmed down now. Two villages lacking a house, five villages lacking religion. Yeah, I am seriously thinking... That oh, now I've got to build another church. Um, we could deliver that as soon as we get some berries in here. We've got four. How are we doing? We, yeah, we've got 74 berries. So we've got four. Hang on, we've got four in there. We've got 22 in there. So where are the rest of them? I suppose they're in the market, aren't they? Um, 12. I haven't, still got, I haven't got berries in here, have I? Yeah, oh, I've still got berries in there, idiot. So that needs to be changed to, well, hang on, in that case, I can deliver that, can't I? Yeah, there we go, that's done. Right, so now I can change that to flour. There we go. But, like, when, when, when I started this episode, the village was perfectly optimised. I had everybody living next door to where they worked, and it was awesome. Now, the whole thing is screwed. I have no idea where people are living. Okay, now they're starting to build these houses. Like, why are they doing it now? Why weren't they doing it, like, as soon as I've marked them in? I don't know. Weird. <laughs> we are going to leave it there for this episode. Um, I'm going to play... I, I, I'm probably going to play some more. Am I going to do it offline or online? I don't know. I, I'm going to 
I'm going to examine the situation, let's put it that way, because I'm, I'm going to say I am not happy with how it is at the moment. I want to play this joyfully. I want to enjoy it. I don't want to screw around with it being buggy. I'd rather wait until they fix it. All right, guys, uh, if you've got an opinion, drop me a comment. I'm, I'm really sorry. I was, oh, man, I wanted to share this joyous experience of, of experiencing this for the first time and doing the new stuff, and it just hasn't happened. I'm sorry. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. I'll catch you for the next one. There will definitely be a next one. Don't worry. Sooner or later. Peace out.